Hello everybody, my name's Snugglebot, and welcome back to the last live coverage of 2018's Nintendo vs. Sega Olympics. We're down to the final bits, we're down to the last loser's bracket match to claw back and fight back to win the victory. We have Benny just waiting to see who he gets to fight. Is it gonna be Dutz? Is it gonna be Grains? Nobody knows. Nobody knows, and it's just grain, isn't it? I keep wanting I to give him possession of things. I, I don't know if there's, it is if there's more chance, of him competing in this one. Yeah, grain's chance to take back the victory from Shadows of Defeat. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and start this off with some... Uh, what is this event called? It is that one where they ski and then they shoot. The oh, Iron the Man. biathlon. The biathlon. The biathlon. Which has nothing to do with bikes. No, it starts with a BI. It definitely does not have anything to do. You know, it comes from what I assume to be bipedal. But I could. Yes, but I. You know, it's fine. Anyways, yeah. we're gonna go ahead and go down to the character selection here, um, and we have a uh, Grain Wetski playing on Knuckles. He's got that high acceleration, but not so great on that speed or um, anything else for that matter. And then it looks like Dutz is taking the uh, crowd favorite with the the Bowser. That's a big old uh, big old dinosaur turtle. I think with those with arms that size, he's got to be able to hold a rifle. I don't know how he fires it though. That's the alarming part. Uh, well, we do know that this is an event that is cherished by both nations of Nintendo and Sega, so they have modded all the equipment per person using. That's true. I and never so, really thought that there would be a lot of uh, a lot of gunplay and marksmanship. Oh, it's like look at uh look at Vector's headphones that he's got rocking there. Those aren't standard typical headphones. Those are custom made by the designers over in Sega. Very true. See, Vector right now is my favorite for the win. Something about that crocodile just gets me going. It it was that an oppressive snowboarding thing that just makes it seem like he can do the impossible at this point. You mean walk upright? Yes, walking upright is also impressive. Bowser <laughs> running out of here like some sort of drunk turtle going uphill. I don't know. Slamming into every wall imaginable. I don't know what uh, Brain is doing, but he is not doing so good. He went from one wall to the other wall. I don't know if he realizes he wants to make it up the hill, not across. It is a confusing sport. I think the grunting is not helping either party. No, the grunting is definitely confusing. Um, and a slight bit concerning. Oh, look, he's trying to high five that toad. Looking uh, close up for the camera, clearly he's worried about his fans. Knuckles has always been more focused on the pageantry in these kind of events. That's true. Why win if you can't look good? That's my motto. And it looks like Bowser is up to uh, to the gun platform before Knuckles there. The first one what appear using what appears to be a muzzle-loading musket. Huh. That he fires with impeccable accuracy. Has he missed a single shot yet? He has not. Oh, here comes the last shot. Oh, and we got a we got Grain coming up and he is missing a shot. He, is, he, has he got that one. He missed that one, though. Woke up a little late today. He is struggling. You know, I heard some competitors, when they wake up late, forget their jackets. They still go out there, and they still get the gold. And they do America proud. They do America Knuckles proud. Knuckles is That's not one true. of those athletes. Knuckles is not that athlete that you want in your corner if it's been a bad day. He, uh, Especially if there are rifles involved. Oh, yeah. No, he, uh, he just kind of snowballs with it. Pun intended. Back to the race. Uh, Bowser here trying to make up for some lost ground, assuming that Knuckles is already out for the count. Uh, yeah, it's not looking good for Knuckles. He, uh, he just got up that first hill off of the gun course, and I don't, I think he's out of this race definitively. It, it appears to me that he has some, some particular contention with some of these shy guys that are lining the edge. There seems to be some bad blood here. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Yeah, you can definitely see it on a grain face, though. He is, he's disappointed in his performance and his partner, and he just... It's all in the posture, too. He's just devastated. He knows that he's back the wrong horse. But we do have Dutz there, still super focused, like some sort of possessed demon, shooting these up, just each shot, making it count. He approaches these like a sniper who's really good at also being a dinosaur. That's a weird analogy to have, my friend, but... You You've say so. Clearly never competed. Oh, what's in this? this? Maybe Grain has not given up yet. He is taking a sniper's position with the moat. That is three for three. And there is four for four. Can he go fight? Oh man. Maybe he would have had a chance. Grain Wetsky really, really giving oh. up here in the end. Maybe he would have had a chance if he could have got that last one in uh in one shot, but no, he took uh five extra bullets to take that one down. 
And uh, looks like Bowser has a pretty commanding lead at this point in time. He's taking his slowing time. Slowing down on that, and Metal Sonic came around him. We'll see if he can make it out. Um, and then, yeah, Knuckles is just done entirely. I don't understand. I think that uh, Metal Sonic must have some superior fortitude, because if I heard Bowser grunting like that behind <laughs> me, I would have already headed for the hills. Man, I would have head for the hills if I heard him grunting in front of me, too. That is definitely not a turtle I would mess with. Um, I don't even play Mario in fear of getting myself hurt just from him and the nightmares that would ensue because of it. Absolutely. Absolutely, Snuggle. It's a terrifying prospect. And Snuggle's like... out of stamina. Oh, that's it's terrible timing. Uh, yeah, and Grain, Grain knows that he's uh, he's going home. He's uh, he's going to finish it out, though. I think he's got enough heart. Bowser's and striking think... his pose and holding it for what appears to be full minutes. Full, full minutes. Looks like, a, I don't know if Dutz was giving him encouragement or if he was just mocking him, but definitely... Mimicking definitely. the pose at the very least. <laughs> not not being a team player. It's there considerably less there. intimidating. Yes, the size of the arms is definitely equivalent to how intimidating hey, a pose you take that be. back. He I'm tries just, really hard. I'm just saying, there's, there's, there's the arms of Bowser's and there's arms of Dutz, alright? Dutz is wiry, he's, but he's he, not He's big. a fighter, he's a he's fighter. He's not big. He's scrappy. Uh, but there you go. There you have it. That was the biathlon. A uh, crushing defeat for uh, Mr. Grain Wetski. It was nice having you on the tournament, but now, just like George, it is your time to leave. We don't have a bronze medal. We couldn't afford it. Our budget doesn't even afford silver. Only gold. We don't even have gold. Our budget doesn't afford medals because it's like school. Everything Bragging rights is the only medal you need here. There we go. Bowser on the top being controlled by Mr. Dutz, and Dutz now gets his chance to come back and take out Benny, a rematch, a grudge from last episode where they just had a really close fight and uh, Dutz just barely got it away. There were ever two competitors for a grudge match, it would be Sonic and Metal Sonic. That would be the best competitors for it, it looks like we uh, right now with figures getting Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong has been showing some impressive is... grace over the course of these games. I'm just... I'm starting to question my own existence. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. That, uh, that makes it quite interesting that uh, Donkey Kong is in the lead when it comes to a graceful appearance. Speaking of graceful, we have the epitome of robotic grace itself. The advanced technology of Metal Sonic is astounding. Oh, and it looks like uh, Benny was just a little slow on that release there, but he's getting some perfects going on with the hand swinging. Um, now, the important thing to note with this figure skating is that these routines have been practiced for months. And the impressive thing about it is that they don't even know if they're going to compete with them. They just take it on blind faith that they will have the opportunity to do so. I was having a conversation with, with Dutz earlier, and he says that he practiced his routine for almost five whole minutes. Before he took the ice. Five whole minutes. Five whole minutes. That's impressive considering the routine is like three minutes long. Yes, he had time to go through it twice. <laughs> so, so good. Such elegance and beauty being displayed here by this metal marvel. You know, which is really surprising because you, you see usually on those uh, on those sci-fi channels that whenever it's a robot that they don't really perform with grace. That's one thing that they try to get, that and human emotions. And this robot's got grace, which makes me fear for her future, quite honestly. It does not look good. <laughs> Skynet not, is upon us. It, it's not. It's definitely not, uh, not something that we're going to be proud of when it comes down, but I'm sure Dr. Eggman is very, very proud of this creation. If this becomes a problem, we'll be long dead before it's ever really an issue. Robots taking over the Olympics. Oh, okay, not, okay. not the world. I okay. assumed it would be one thing at a time. Olympics first, then the world. That makes sense. That's how it normally goes. <laughs> it would appear that... <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it. Let him go with dignity. Having some wardrobe now. Let, let Benny go with dignity. <laughs> I mean... When, you, when you're trying to look good out on the ice, and you start stress eating before your competition, you end up having a short shirt. We all knew that Unitard wasn't going to fit when he no, took the ice. No, definitely not. We just didn't realize it would be this much of an I issue. I feel like this would be less of an issue if they would not fluctuate in size between so many events. Like, it's impressive. You go from big to small to small to big. Just 
Not we, one. We, we're talking about competitors, right? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. What are you talking about? I. Have you been, anyway, about this, have you been about this metal hedgehog, he is, he is still, still out there. Oh, somehow. I think this is the end. I think this is the, uh, this is it. Here's the pose. the pose. Um, it looks like a perfect pose. An so, unbelievable finish that's from good. a well finished unbeliever. That's that deep. I've been really trying. I've been practicing. Oh, oh, they printed your book. It's on sale. That's wonderful. So, uh, down in the description, pick up his book. Should I talk about it? I don't know. I don't either. I don't think you. I know. hear Flight of the Valkyries. To me, oh. it sounds like that Sonic, Sonic is about to take the ice. That's definitely Sonic taking the ice. He seems a little cocky, almost like he has no worry about what that metal robot just put down in a performance. He doesn't need to. He is, in fact, the fastest thing on two legs. Let's see if those two legs translate to ice. Well, we already saw that in the short track that they kind of do, so... They do. He approaches it with about as much grace as you would expect a hedgehog, who is, I'm assuming, not accustomed to being on the ice. But he starts off with a rousing spin that, if I'm being honest, is making me dizzy. Uh, to be honest with you, we did only saw one spin in Metal Sonic's uh, performance, which you would think him not having to worry about an actual equilibrium, he would have taken more advantage of throwing out more of those spins. You would think that his gyroscopics would come into play in some capacity. You would, but it seems like Sonic is uh, not one to shy away from a competition, so he took it straight to him. I feel like that was almost him throwing the white glove at Metal Sonic by pulling off that spin right off the bat. Notice his awkward hand gestures. It's like he's never really quite figured out what he should do with fingers. He seems to just be waving them around like some sort of Viennan... Viennan? Like some sort of Austrian sausages. I don't know how to say things Vienna. from Vienna. Well, if it's, it, would be, it would be Viennish. Uh, yes. Because Viennish doesn't sound right. I don't know. You're the one that travels, not me. I kind of kind of stuck where I'm at. That's a fair point. Sonic, once again, with the awkward, almost pushing the water out of the way gestures. To, of course, none other than Richard Wagner's Flight of the Valkyries. That's true. Now, we see Sonic has had a couple of uh, couple of TV shows, a little bit more than these other competitors in here. So, we're not surprised to see how graceful he can be on the ice after all the acting that he's done. Um, what do we got? We got Sonic Boom. We got Sonic Adventures. And we have many other installations, I would imagine. There was uh, the one uh, from our, our, our time of, what was that, just Sonic? Sonic Dash? Sonic something? That sounds about right. Sonic no. X, that was it. Sonic X. I do not remember that one. I mean, uh, that was the, the spinoff that my parents wouldn't allow me to watch. Uh, that might have been when you were into books. <laughs> uh, you books. got me good. <laughs> Nerds. Gotta love them. Anyway. Sonic ending his routine with some some wonderful jumps and his impeccable ability to skate backwards on one foot. Something that I've never truly been able to do. Oh, it is something that you did perfect at one point in time, but I feel like it was more to the fact that it was just a, a panic state and not really something that you could do. Oh, I broke a tooth that day. Yeah, no, it was not fun. <laughs> and here's the pose. Can he finish it? Oh, oh he, he missed the pose and he is not happy about it. Finish! Oh. Dutz is not not pleased about that pose being missed. He holds up a heroic thumbs up. So here we're gonna go. Oh, and I think I think Dutz did he pull it away? With B minuses across the board, just like my report cards, Sonic the Hedgehog pulls off the rousing fourth place. Ah, and I think that is enough to get him past Gaines. It is. It is enough to get him past Grain. You are eventually going to get this name Wow, right. no, we're at Benny and Dutz. That, yeah. was, that was the final. That was, in fact, the that final. That was the final? Man, I gotta stop looking at my teleprompter that the intern's messing with. We gotta fire this kid. Wait. I mean, if you want to, you can try. Yeah. No. I mean, grab it. Yeah, no. No, uh, Dutz is just celebrating. Yeah, yeah, cue it up, cue it up. All right, so the intern says he's gonna get back at us. He found some embarrassing footage. Footing? Footing. Footing, yes. Or footage. Ah. Yes, now this reminds me. This brings me back. back I'm sure in... you remember our first Olympic experience. I do. I do. Back in... In couples figure skating. 1998. What a we great young, year. We were young. And we were foolish. And, and we were so in love. Look at that spin. That is definitely... It's the hand-holding of two people that really were meant to figure skate together. Exactly. And yeah. also Dr. Eggman is on the ice. Let that sink in for a <laughs> Let second. Let that sink folks. in. 
And this this is the one time that uh that you truly know who your friends are when you can go out onto the ice dressed as a lady and still get a prominent figure in their life. It's no different than any other weekend with you. Anyway, they are just so, so synced up right now. It's unbelievable. Watch the elegance that is Daisy and her just floppy partner, who appears to be made from what I would guess are pipe cleaners and cotton balls. I think he is human. Um, I, I'm not so <laughs> sure. I can't guarantee you that. Oh, now look at this. This is a, uh, this is what we call the walk in the park here. Um, just like any other good, no. gentle couple. hand holding. Exactly, and not a lot of movement with it. Oh, and we have a twin spinning, and we're back to holding hands here again. Spinning is a generous description of what Dr. Eggman just did. <laughs> he is the egg beater. <laughs> Barely. He's, Barely. He's whisking me. Oh! One arm holding up. I remember that. I the power. I about pooed myself <laughs> from you dropping I me. am I really glad you confused. didn't. That would have just That's ruined okay. I had my nice outfit. No, I had spanks on. It would have been contained. So and they're into another me. one of these death spirals. Now, they it looks like... They figured out the form. <laughs> yeah, they struggled with that first one, but it looks like they uh, finally... Uh, picked up the blender strategy where the centerpiece doesn't move. Oh, and it would appear that oh, oh. We, have, we have lost one competitor. Oh, I think, we're uh, back. We're good. Yeah, no, I was not conditioned for this at all. I actually, uh, <laughs> actually trained for the, uh, for the curling competition, and in the last moment, you remember that? Your partner, uh, Leobot sprained her ankle. She did. I it was embarrassing in. for it her. It was not, well, it wasn't all that embarrassing. It was more just down trying, because nobody saw her sprain her ankle. Well, she wasn't even curly. That's why it's embarrassing. But, huh. I didn't know that. There's so much of this story that I don't know. Anyways, all I remember from this night is <laughs> you spinning me into the end in this pose. Their spins have definitely slowed down. It would appear that we we just completely lost you in the end there, Snuggle. I think no, you I are the... on the ground. It's okay, because the game still recognized my pose, and that's all that matters. Somehow. It's, it's a miracle. With that outstanding score of... 143.63 points. I believe we took the gold. I don't know how we did it. I, I, I actually blacked out. I have no idea how we did it. That was a rough year for me. The intern's crying. He thought that was going to be a lot worse. Good. I'm going to make him cry. Well, anyways, that does it for our coverage of the 2018 Nintendo vs. Sega Olympics. If you like the video, go ahead and snuggle on up to that like button and give it a firm yet sensual click. And if you like the whole series, go ahead and hit the like on that play. Ooh. Anyways, I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. I guess he tried to embarrass us, but there's no embarrassing pure perfection, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Focus.